After alfalfa number one dissipated, this tornado rapidly developed in the same area from the large rotating wall cloud about which alfalfa number one rotated. This tornado was much larger and produced a very large dirt cloud as it traversed a freshly plowed field. We are looking west. At the point where the film takes on a slight bluish cast, the view changes to further away, but this is still alfalfa number two. Looking northwest, the camera zooms out to wide angle to reveal details of surrounding storm structure. Note the clear slot of the RFD wrapping around the wall cloud. As the camera pans to the left or southwest, we can observe the rain-free base of the flanking line, situated south through east of the wall cloud and clear slot. Can you find the tornado as this sequence first begins? The same thunderstorm which produced the two alfalfa tornadoes also produced this monstrous mile-wide tornado. Looking northeast from about five miles away, we see a huge wall cloud above the developing tornado. The tornado at this time was visible as a large debris cloud. The final very short clip shows the Binger tornado, again looking northwest from a similar distance. At this time, the large tornado has more of a condensation cloud appearance. This tornado produced devastating F4 damage on the Fujita scale. At the very end of the film, another dust whirl tornado, that is a gust front tornado or gust nato, is visible immediately south of the F4 tornado. This and the next two film sequences illustrate the history of a tornado from birth to death. As this segment begins, there is a wall cloud visible looking west. Rotation is visible in the cloud fragments under the wall cloud. As the tornado develops, a funnel descends from the thunderstorm to the ground. Rotation of cloud fragments remains quite noticeable throughout this segment. The precipitation area is occasionally visible to the right or north. 